and good morning, everybody. And I will sing Jesus in the morning. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus at the noon time. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let's announce our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant we pray that those who render capable of immortality by justifying them by your guidance attain the fullness of grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derbe in Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that reason, region, Paul had been circumcised, but they all knew that his future father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through Phrygia and Galatia because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed Mysia and came to Troas, and during the night, Paul had a vision. The Macedonians stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to my Macedonia and help us. And when he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, the kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Raised with Christ, 
see what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. We're you from the Holy Gospel. According to John. And Jesus said to his disciples, if the world hates you, realize it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world will love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, I have chosen you out of the world. The world will hate you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord.
blessed by you, Lord God of all creation, that through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which was just given to you and has obeyed, it become for us a bread of life. Yes, it will become forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sin. Accept the compassion, Lord, we pray the offers of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts in our return through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, of all of to love you more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, and the universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with passive joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they have Holy, 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 Lord, holy, Lord, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. From Zion to the highest, the lesson is he comes in the name of you are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entering willingly into his passion with the bread, and gave you thanks, broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered into the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one. By the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Lays, our Bishop, and his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all dying in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and mercy in us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, your spouse. 
the blessed apostles, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and all the saints. We're pleased you throughout the ages to be married, to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom and the words of Jesus gives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours forever. The Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity. In accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Priest of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other sight of Christ, peace.
spiritual communion by Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you now at this moment, sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. And our Saint Joseph, our Saint Joseph, watch over us and care for us. Just as you care for the child of Jesus. And by your help, may we come to know your son and so grow in strength and wisdom in the favor of God. Amen. Amen. And this weekend, special weekend, as we remember all our mothers living and deceased on Mother's Day, uh, as you notice, our second Saturday of the month, which is the Saturday, we offer up the intention for all our mothers living and deceased. And you will find a certain to the bulletin a special envelope where you can list out uh, your, those that you would like to have prayed for throughout the year on the second Saturday of each month. Your mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, uh, father, godfather, godmother figures, and, uh, and mother figures. And uh, also in your envelope that is uh, delivered to home. You also have a, uh, a Mother's Day uh, envelope inserted into that. So that just returns the envelope for a little donation. And uh, uh, we will then include them in our intentions and we will then publish the list of names uh, as we always do every year as we insert the list into the bulletin uh, seven weeks from now. And I understand our 9.30 Mass is filled up for tomorrow, but the other weekend Masses are open, so you can still register at 4 o'clock on Saturday and on Sunday the 8th and 11.30 and 6 o'clock in the evening. I'm trying to remember, we have a 6 o'clock Mass? I think we are. Yeah, even those mothers may remember the 6 o'clock Mass. I got it, I think. Another one out for it. I scheduled myself. Okay. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Lord be with you. And may the mighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Serve him, serve him, serve him when the sun goes down. 